Welcome to the Xbox One E3 conference. We'll begin the show with the trailer music from Man of Steel. If that's not setting us up for disappointment, then I don't know what is. Hey, so here's a joke. Why is 343 Industries' Bonnie Ross not a fan of online dating? Because it requires functional matchmaking. And the audience applauds exclusive games. One assumes because there are green hooded figures with Microsoft brand cattle prods positioned menacingly behind them. Ah, fantastic, it's Halo 5! Make sure you pre-order the DLC Season Pass to get functional multiplayer. Also, did we mention we scrapped Split Screen? <laughs> I mean, it's not like anyone liked that anyway. Go, go, Power Rangers! Oh, now so we're ramming pre-order messages down people's throats during a press briefing. I like to say that I'm surprised, but this is Microsoft we're talking about. Who will win the E3 award for most obnoxiously large gun model? Well, this is certainly a good start. <laughs> I regret everything! It's so nice to see that 343 included a Master Chief Collection pre-order customer in the game. More than meets the eye. Don't you dare kill the dog. Don't you do it. Oh god, you're going to. God damn it, every bloody time! Hang on a minute, so she can put the core into any other machine and he's instantly revived in a different body. So why exactly was she upset in the first place? Behold the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. When merged with the body and legs of Xbox, he is an unstoppable cybernetic killing machine. Phil Spencer looks upon a captive audience held in place with Microsoft's advanced green slave collars. Well, that's one solution to a lack of worthwhile games. A bunch of old ones. Thank God that I can now experience Mass Effect in glorious cinematic 18 frames per second thanks to Xbox One. The game runs exactly like it does on Xbox 360. That's the bloody problem! Someone somewhere has a fetish for this kind of thing, just keep that in mind. Xbox, where you pay $150 for button remapping. Traitor. Nope, I don't trust you with that dog. I don't trust any game dev with dogs anymore. I know a lot of you out there are excited to play our next big title, Madden NFL 16, when it launches on August the 25th. Go Madden. Evidently not. You know, I feel for Peter, honestly. He's trying to make EA Access sound exciting, but that's a feat that nobody could achieve. Is it wrong that so far this is the thing that I'm most excited about? I mean, it feels like I'm being deliberately contrarian, but it is rather nice to see something that doesn't take itself too seriously. And now, a Ford ad. Is this the Microsoft conference or Cirque du Soleil? Look at the car, look at the car, look at the car. What is video games? This is literally several minutes of virtual Ford masturbation. My artistic vision! I mean, I'd like to make a comment on The Division, but if it keeps getting downgraded every time they show it, then by the time it releases, it'll be a retro-inspired platformer. If we could just make the entire conference about Cuphead now, that would be great. And now, a bunch of PC games. But we're not gonna mention that. Well, we wanted to render a face, but it was a little bit too taxing for the Xbox One. I have activated the arse. This is Beyond Eyes, a game about being blind. Fans of 30 frames per second should feel right at home then. Seriously though, it looks lovely, please don't kill me. Yay, Cuphead, you're better than everything! Next time, just 90 minutes of Cuphead, please. But look at it, just look at it! Oh god, the early access virus is spreading. Cut off the arm and save the body. I just want to point out that in 2015, it's become trendy to sell people unfinished games. Oh, no, wait, they've been doing that for years, they just weren't being honest about it. Hey, Elite Dangerous, hear that? You're unfinished! I hope you don't mind us parading that around on stage. Alright mate, I'm Dean Hall. I can't wait to tell you about which game I'm going to abandon next. I want a game that is not a game. So, Daisy Standalone then. From the creator of Daisy, Rock Simulator. Wait, that already exists? Oh fuck video games. Please welcome Brian Horton who is thrilled to rub this timed exclusive in your ugly unworthy faces. Finally, a Tomb Raider game that doesn't objectify Lara Croft and puts her in sensible, extreme weather clothing. What's that? Facts. Can't you see I'm being outraged here? So, Gandalf, you tried to lead them over Garadras. And if that fails, where then will you go? If the mountain defeats you, will you risk a more dangerous road? Watch as we parade Rare's desiccated corpse in front of you and you love every single minute of it. Yes, that's the biggest feature of the collection. Obviously. People this happy about Minecraft terrify me. It's a cult indoctrinating our children and it must be stopped. 
I don't know what the hell's going on here, but I'm pretty sure it's blood magic and we need to burn the witch at once. You know, this shit is how the Matrix started and we all know how that turned out. Revolutions. Ugh. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I think I dozed off for a while. What's this game? Oh, Gears of War. Ugh, well, that explains that. Well, I hope you weren't interested in Crackdown, Scalebound, or Quantum Break, because you ain't getting that until Gamescom. Oh, Phil, you're such a tease. Well, that's the Xbox conference. Millions have been enslaved by the power of the HoloLens. There is no escape, and this is the doom of civilization. Goodbye.